today we'll be using this Maggi curry pack it and make some delicious Maggi goreng so I'm going to show you how to make it it's really simple and right now I only have like 10 minutes to make this so I'm just going to do it real quick and this is going to be for anyone who's just lazy to cook for the day and you just want something let's get to it all right so first thing is to get a pan or water boil it and then we can add in this And it'll probably take about two to three minutes for it for the noodles to be soft. Alright, so it's almost two and a half minutes and the noodles is already soft and I just added in a couple of fish balls. So now we can off the fire and then we'll have to drain out the water. Okay, so I've drained out the noodles and now I'm going to fry an egg. So just add in a bit of oil. So because I'm using the same pan, the pan is already hot. The oil also is already hot. So I'll just break an egg in. And now, we'll just be adding in a bit of seasoning on the egg. So don't use up everything and then just mix it all in. So at this point, when you add in the Maggi seasoning to the egg, you can already smell that Maggi flavour coming through just like what you would order at a mama shop. So now, I'll just lower the temperature a bit and now we can add in the noodles. Right? So if you want meat, you can just add in meat when you perhaps like fry some sausages or chicken here. So the remaining noodles, we'll actually just add in the rest of the seasoning, the print chop from the Maggi packet. And just stir everything.
are just a little stuck to each other so you can just use two forks if you wish to separate it and basically because your noodles is already cooked you just need the seasoning that you added in to just settle for less than a minute ready and now your dish is all ready to be served wow the smell all right i'm just going to off the fire and we can serve it So this is Maggie Goreng made at home and you know what, all I needed was a Maggie packet, some fish balls to throw in, you can choose not to throw that in if you do not want to, and an egg. Really that's it, it's so simple to make and it tastes absolutely delicious, I can't wait to just like eat up everything. Well, I hope you try this recipe and let me know what you think about this recipe in the comments section down below.